Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to read a book called Hands Off Harry. That's the title. It was written by Rosemary Wells. She's our author. She wrote all the words and came up with the idea. We've read a book like this before. Miss Harmony is the teacher. Do you remember that? Miracle melts down. Yes, Miracle was having some issues. Let's find out what the problem is in this book. Hands off, Harry. Guess what happened at school today? Tell us, Lola. Oh, I love the way that they're sitting down together to eat at the table for dinner and the child is telling the adults what happened at school today. It's always good to tell your parents or your grandmother or grandfather, aunts and uncles, what you did at school, what you're learning about. I just love that. So Lola's going to tell us what happened at her school today. Harry ran all the way down the hall and into the school backwards. He even said good morning backwards. Oh, he's going to walk into something. That's not a safe behavior. He knocked Babette, Tina, and Benjamin out of friendly circle and onto the floor. Harry laughed, but no one else did. Miss Harmony said it was not a friendly thing to do to friendly circle. She gave Harry a time out in the thinking chair. Harry, you need to think about respecting other people's personal space, said Miss Harmony. But Harry did not do too much thinking. Is he sitting properly? Mm -mm. Babette told Miss Harmony, Harry is disrespecting the thinking chair. Miss Harmony redirected Babette to the bead corner. Because whose job is it to worry about Harry? Is it Babette's job or Miss Harmony's job? That's right. It's Miss Harmony's job to worry about her students. Babette is in charge of Babette and her decisions. You would think the thinking chair would make Harry think about what he did wrong, but no. At make a snowflake time, he sneaked out of his chair. Then he poked Miracle in the ribs. Her glue spilled onto her shoes and ruined her snowflake. Miracle melted down. It was an accident, said Harry. But everyone knew that wasn't the truth, and Harry got another time out. Miss Harmony rang her. Listen up, Belle. What do we use our hands for? She asked. Shaking a hand, said Nigel. Holding a hand, answered Babette. Lending a hand, shouted Miguel. And those are normally all very true. But when we're worried about viruses, we keep our hands to ourselves. Not just unkind hands, but even helping hands. We keep them to ourselves. Do you think Harry thought about shaking hands or lending a hand? No way. While Miss Harmony was not looking, Harry scooted over to Benjamin's busy station. Harry put both hands on Benjamin's shoulders and shouted, Surprise! Benjamin's poster paint spilled all over his new shirt and pants. Miss Harmony had to wash Benjamin's clothes. Then she got out Benjamin's cubby outfit because we should always have an extra outfit in our cubby in case there's an accident. Benjamin's cubby outfit didn't fit anymore. Oh, it had been in there so long and he had grown. I bet you'd think Miss Harmony got mad, but no. She rang her, listen up, Belle, and called for friendly circle. Everyone got a turn to speak. We don't like to be pushed, said Tina, or poked, said Babette. Hands off, Harry, said Raoul. My favorite shirt is ruined forever, said Benjamin. That snowflake was a present for my mama, said Miracle. And now my shoes are stuck to my socks and my socks are stuck to my feet. The things Harry has been doing have consequences. What should you say to your classmates, Harry? asked Miss Harmony. Sorry, said Harry. He doesn't mean it, said Babette. He's not using an I'm sorry voice. Harry, said Harmony, when you use your I'm angry voice to say I'm sorry, no one believes you. 
Miss Harmony gave Harry twenty jumping jacks in the corner. You have ants in your pants, Harry, said Babette. Miss Harmony redirected Babette to the dress-up corner, because whose job is it to worry about Harry? It's Miss Harmony's job. It is not Babette's job. Babette needs to worry about herself and her own choices. She's in charge of herself. But the ants stayed right in Harry's pants, even after the 20 jumping jacks. During yoga, Harry tackled Nigel, and Nigel's glasses snapped in two. Oh no. Friendly Circle was called into emergency session. Harry, you've invaded my personal space, said Nigel. We have to give people their space. Friendly Circle voted that Harry needed to learn where his space ended and where everybody else's began. Just then, Babette had a brilliant idea. She ran to the gymnasium. Babette came back with a bumper tube from the bouncing set. It was the perfect way for Harry to learn about personal space because he couldn't reach anybody. At snack time, Harry couldn't grab anyone's apple juice. He couldn't join hands at sing-along. Harry had a lot of time to think about personal space. And guess what? At presentation time, Harry asked Miss Harmony to let him do his show and tell. What is your show and tell presentation, Harry? asked Miss Harmony. I want to show everybody that my space ends here, said Harry. I want to tell everyone I'm sorry. Harry used his real I'm sorry voice. I think he means it, said Miracle. Who's going to be playground monitor today? asked Miss Harmony. Please, me? Harry asked Miss Harmony. Everybody said, no way, not Harry. But Miss Harmony said, let's give Harry a chance. And you know what? Harry didn't touch anyone until Jasmine fell off the walkathon bars. Jasmine howled and yowled so loud you could hear her all the way downtown and all the way uptown. But Harry was a good playground monitor. He got out the first aid kit. He cleaned Jasmine's knees with a stereo wipe and put on two purple glitter band-aids. And he even gave her a tissue to wipe her tears. Harry, you used your hands to help, not hurt, said Miss Harmony. I'm proud of you. Now if we have a playground monitor, they wouldn't actually take care of the boo-boos but they might help her stand up if she wanted the help. They might help her walk to the teacher to ask for band-aids. But I'm glad Harry used his hands to help. Everyone got an oatmeal raisin cookie and guess what happened then? Just before see you later alligator time, Miss Harmony gave Harry the good behavior gold star. And now we're back to the beginning of this book. And that's what happened at school today. It's one of those circle books, just like the mouse and the cookie books. Just like if you take a mouse to school books. It ends the same way it began. Nice. I'm so glad that Harry learned about personal space and keeping his hands to himself. That's a great lesson. And I think Babette learned to worry about herself and not worry about Harry because that's Miss Harmony's job. Thank you for reading with me today.